What's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It will definitely mean a lot to me. So today I will be going over my full review of the products that Lenovo sent over from their gaming series. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Lenovo for sending me these products. It definitely means a lot, especially with the channel of my size. Um, so they sent me over items from the Legion series, which is their gaming series, of course. Um, they sent over a mouse pad, a gaming mouse, a gaming headset, and a gaming monitor. I will be going over my experiences with all those products and let you guys know how I felt about them. So I'm not going to hold you any longer. I'm ready to get to this video, so let's do it. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Pack up my bags like nigga, I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrong. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the mouse pad. The mouse pad is just called the Legion mouse pad. I believe that's the only mouse pad that they have in their gaming series. Um, but yeah, uh, it fit my desk perfectly. I have a 47 inch desk if you guys are looking just for like a size comparison. And it fit that pretty much perfectly all the way across. Um, I, it's really interesting how much a mouse pad does affect like the navigation of a mouse. It's definitely a thing. Um, at first I was just using like the wood on my desk, but when I put the mouse pad on all with all of the sensors and things activating on the mouse more efficiently, everything worked better. I did try it on my Bluetooth mouse as well as the mouse that I was testing, uh, the wired mouse, and it was just a very pleasant experience. So yeah, the only thing I really had an issue with was uh, how easily dust got on the mouse pad, um, and that was super easy to clean off, so it wasn't really a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's my experience with the mouse pad. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the mouse. Uh, the model of the mouse is called the M500. And I also had a very good experience with that. Um, it did have RGB lights around the edges of it and along the bottom. I really like that because it was like a subtle feel. It wasn't just like in your face. It was just like uh, it alternated around the perimeter of the mouse. And I really liked that about the design of it. Um, the comfort was really nice. Um, it really felt like my ergonomic mouse, even though it was built a little differently. Um, it was it perfectly fit like the uh, where you would put your thumbs to rest and click the side, uh, the back and forth buttons. And then um, the top of your hand was well rested as well. So I really enjoyed that about the mouse. The It was super clicky. I really liked the buttons on it. It was a really nice uh, clicking experience. And the scroll wheel was very smooth. No issues with that at all. Um, and yeah, that's the mouse. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the H500 headset. Um, that is the model number H500. Um, so yeah, um, it, I had a very good experience with that as well. Um, it did have surround sound and you can tell it did. Um, I don't really play any like first person shooter games or anything like Call of Duty or PUBG on the Xbox anyway. So um, I couldn't really tell um, if things would like come from different directions. So I wasn't able to test that part of it, but the sound quality was actually great. Um, hearing other people's voices was great. Hearing my friends, um, the experience was really great. No issues with that at all. Um, and the microphone quality was very good. And one thing I liked about the microphone is that the microphone was uh, retractable. So you were able to um, pull it in and out at your own comfort. Um, the unit that I got did not have like the mute button and everything included. So I was not able to test that out, but everything else about the headset worked great. Um, the passive noise canceling that it provided worked really well and it was really comfortable um, it was a good fit you can adjust it to your liking so no complaints about the headset at all okay the last thing that i'm going to talk about is the monitor uh, the monitor is called the lenovo legion uh, y27q um, it's 27 inches it's an ips panel um, it gets up to 1440p and it has up to an 165 hertz refresh rate um, so yeah those are the specs of it and they definitely 
give a great experience in terms of gaming and not even that just watching videos and things it's a very good experience the covers are very vibrant um, the refresh rate makes everything look just like super smooth it's a crystal clear panel um, I really enjoyed it it's very heavy duty like if you drop that uh, I really don't think you're gonna break it um, it was just a super heavy du duty monitor so heavy duty I did not want to mount it at all at my desk um, I actually like uh, Whenever I used it, um, I would just like go to my dining room table or put it on my coffee table in the living room to play. Um, it was a very good experience. The 27 inches was just a very immersive experience. That was the biggest gaming monitor I've ever played on. Um, it is G-Sync compatible. So for those um, that have like those high-end graphic cards, it will sync up with your graphic card uh, properly. Um, it's just a very good experience. Um, I really like the stand that came with it. It was very durable and flexible, moved in multiple directions. Um, so yeah, that's my experience with the monitor. Okay, if you made it to this point of the video, I just want to thank you for watching. Um, it definitely means a lot to me. Also, um, I want to give a huge shout out to Lenovo for sending me over these review units. For me to create content, it definitely means a lot. And I really appreciate you for doing that. Um, and also, if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It definitely means a lot. The support that I've been getting with this has been just amazing. I actually doubled my... A uh, goal of 100 by the end of 2020. I'm at around 240 right now. So keep subscribing. It definitely means a lot to me. And um, I'll see you guys next time.